morning. It's uh, Saturday, May 4th, 2013. I got this um, uh, DNS server running. So now I have a local DNS server, which has sped up the internet substantially. Um, it's called Muskrat. They named it Muskrat. I'm waiting for some parts in the mail. I'm going to be able to set up another FreeBSD server as well. I'll probably put a redundant DNS server on that, so I'll have two. And I'll also use, use them for other things beyond uh, uh, name serving. Right now I'm going to replace some of these outlets in this building, this condo. Um, some of the outlets are so screwed up it's ridiculous. So I'm going to uh, replace them so that we have some safe electric here. I'm going to uh, replace this one first since this one's uh, near where I got to move that computer to so that I can clear that um, um, table off because that's what I'm processing eBay with. This one, you know, it looks like it's okay, but it isn't because the uh, plugs keep disconnecting. So, for some reason, it's screwed up. So, I'll replace this one first. Okay, pulled off this uh, child cap. Well, uh, my mom can give this back to my sister. Maybe they can use these at their house or something. They're really not good here. I keep seeing sparking. So, anyway. I don't see any uh, black marks on this one anyway. It is, yeah, never was really installed right. It was never tight against the wall. So I'm just going to replace them with UL sockets. These original ones were just really no... Now you can see what kind of construction they did here. This um, is all filled with uh, spackle dust <coughs> and spider webs. There's no reason for spackle dust to be inside the socket. These are like the cheapest outlets you could get. On these you can see the um, copper side. There's a copper and a steel side normally of screws. The green is the ground. The steel is common, which normally goes to ground in a 110 uh, circuit. And the, um, but it does it at the breaker box. And um, the hot leads here, which you can see are bridged. Okay, so I'm just going to disconnect them and just, you can, these are wired properly at least. Sometimes you find them wired backwards. The small side is the hot side, which is normally black. It's not always black though, you got to watch for switched outlets and uh, and it's always copper, or it's supposed to be copper. Okay, I have the electric off. I just, um, I put the ground wire attached to the ground screw. Now I'm going to strip the, um, there's usually a strip gauge on the back of these for what depth you strip these to, but there isn't on this one. But you can stick them in the back in these holes and it actually grabs it, I think. Well, maybe this one I can't do that. I'll do it. I'll just put them on the screws. With it. Okay, I stripped these far back enough to make little hooks that I can uh, screw onto there. Okay, you can see I've made, uh, I formed them into hooks so you can go over the screws. Um, a lot of these are made where you can just cut them straight. There's like a strip gauge in the back and you can just strip it back and just stick it in and it grabs. But actually if you hook them and screw them on, <clears throat> you can't over torque them. But um, they'll get a better uh, connection than, than if you just stick them in. You'll be able to uh, have less heat generation from a bad connection. The insulation on these hot wires feels kind of funny, so I'm going to wrap them with um, some good electric tape. I use 3M33 tape. It's the best tape ever. Let's see if 
if I can show it to you. This stuff, this stuff, scotch, rather. Scotch Super 33. It's made by 3M, but it's the Scotch Super 33 tape. You want to have the hook side of the uh, wire, and the open side, go to the far side of where you're turning to, just like that. That way, um, it doesn't loosen it up as you as you screw it on. Okay, I've got this. Uh, I've got the common and the um, ground nice and snug, and I've uh, re-insulated portions of these hot leads. Now I'm going to screw them onto this internal. Okay, power. that's that. With that, I'm just going to screw it in. And you have to recess it enough to, you know, sometimes these screws aren't meant to be all the way tight, depending how the drywall people and the um, electrical, whoever put the boxes in the wall, put them in. Um, you want to make sure that once the cover goes on that it keeps the uh, this from wiggling. If they put the electrical boxes in right in the first place, you can screw this right down tight, but sometimes you have to bring it out a little with washers or or uh, is the right way to do it but um I've left them without washers it depends what you're plugging in okay now for the cover yeah you can see when I press this against the wall it's out of line so I gotta back off you can see on that top screw I back off and I'll back off a little on the bottom screw about three turns on the top well, it took about <coughs> It took uh, five turns on the top and one on the bottom. Anyway, you want these to be fairly flush so that when you put this on this uh, middle screw, it'll hold this so that it doesn't, the whole outlet won't move. It'll be nice. After I put it on, it's still loose, so I'm going to have to <clears throat> take this cover back off and uh, screw, screw one turn each on the top and the bottom. Okay, it's nice and tight now. You can see a flaw in the spackle on the top. <laughs> Whoever cut this out left uh, too big a hole. Nothing I can really do about that without respackling it. And I'm not going to, so I'll just throw. If we ever paint this, I'll put. I'll just jam it up with some spackle in from the outside and paint it. You never see it. Oh, that should work good. Okay, here's the stuff I used. Paintbrush to brush out the box. Um, I didn't have to use two kind of pairs of pliers, but it was easier for me to bend in the wires and whatnot. Voltmeter, electric tape, a little snipper to which works good. These are like QVC scissors. They work really good. A uh, razor blade and a screwdriver. Okay. Uh, most important thing, a flashlight. Here's a decent light I did a couple weeks ago. <laughs> a little pull string. Yeah. And you wonder why we have internet issues. This was left by the um, DSL company. It's how they wire things around here in Pennsylvania. I don't know what goes to where. Right. I'm gonna turn this back. Well, there it is. Here, move the muskrat. Very good. Local DNS server. Amongst other things. Well, I don't know if you can see it. All these wires are actually frayed. They've been heating up for years, even since this was new. And this light shorts out now. I gotta pull this whole thing out. I gotta put one of these in. Wow, this is kinda insane. <clears throat> Great. What they've done is they've um, wired it with wires that are um, 
a couple gauges too small. That's why these eventually overheated and burned like toaster wires. They put the um, the box in the wrong spot up there. This is insanity. So really, there's no uh, easy way to do this. They're all the wrong gauge. <laughs> this is terrible. This is like phone wires. I don't know. I've got to get my multimeter. I'm afraid to touch anything get electrocuted. <clears throat> well, one thing's for sure. I can't put that kind of light on it. I'm going to have to do is pull this out and cap it and maybe rebuild this light with different wires or something or find another light that's got that kind of a screw thing on it <clears throat> or just hang a utility light I don't know <laughs> one thing's for sure this light is a fire hazard this has to come out well this is really really bad I just capped the hot lead that came out I'm not sure if there's another hot lead in there. I've got to get a uh, keyhole saw and saw out to the dimensions of this um, the metal box that's in here. Some idiot just glued this panel up without cutting the box out properly. So I'm going to have to cut out further around so that the box is accessible so I can fix Okay, it. here's the microwave outlet in the kitchen. The top part doesn't work for some reason. I'm going to pull this outlet out as well now and replace this one. Yeah, more craziness. Okay. Somebody wallpapered right over the screws. I'm going to have to cut that with a razor blade. Okay, I trimmed back around this over the screws. It's kind of weird that the top part of this outlet doesn't work. Well, I don't see anything physically wrong with this. There must be some kind of, um, it must be burnt out in one of these upper outlet holes. Okay, same deal as the last one. I'm going to strip these back and put them on the screws. Oh, that was a pain, but there it is. I left out some details since I showed it earlier. Now, screw well, the good news is that box was properly set in this case, so I don't have to jockey around the screws. Well, there you have it. Test this actually. You know, don't like accidentally. We should put a piece of tape over the screws. Perfect. By this, double Perfect.